thank you so much for joining me today for my podcast, Nichelle Anderson Short Stories and Beyond. I'm your host, Nichelle Anderson, and today we will focus on the next character in my character profile review for the next few weeks. So now this would be episode 17, kicking off pretty much on this should air on March the 5th, where you would be able to download this, of course, and take a look. So let's get started. If you want to become a patron, please consider that. You will see a link at the bottom in this description for you to be able to click on. You can go to patreon.com. You can also go through my other podcast, Surviving Your Journey to a Success, where I do have now my short stories linked through that. You would just pay for the premium. It is a monthly subscription after your trial. Um, you do have a trial that you can test it for free for seven days. We have access to these short stories content and then hopefully you will go ahead, stick around and become a patron and continue to get this premium content. Well, let's get started for this particular uh, episode. We're talking about Natu. All right. So Natu came on the scene, the very first scene that really propelled me to consider I need to do another podcast as I mentioned my other podcast is surviving your journey to a success that deals with modern day topics and right before a week before it was supposed to go for its pre-launch I just kept having this vision and it was Queen Haggad she was meeting Natu Natu never been in any of my previous productions He was never in the book. There was actually the seed that brought me all the way up to now into what we're calling Mole, which stands for Moments of Love in Ancient Egypt. Okay, Natu is Orion. He is a military position in the sense of their particular army. He's pretty much, I would say, a bit stubborn if I had to describe his personality, but he's definitely a new major player because he hasn't left the scene yet when it did not go well and I will like to iterate I would encourage you to go and check out the first episode before the time of Princess Samia in that first episode you have access to that either on my podcast here on Spreaker for Nichelle Anderson short stories and beyond and you also can go on my other podcast surviving your journey to a success where it was considered as a bonus as I was rolling out after I decided I'm going to do another podcast featuring on my my purpose and what I love to do is writing writing stories but at any rate in episode one you get the feeling that something is going on and that the two came there to accomplish a goal so fast forward in the next episode i believe episode three or four you might have to verify that pretty much the two had to report back that it did not go well right but he's still on the scene because further on in the episodes i released was pretty much at that time after episode four mainly you have to be a patron to get the whole full short story but you get enough to realize that Natu is still in the game right he's still a major he's still a new player in this saga for this season so he is an Orion from the skies that are different of course from Tamat that we're calling planet earth right and he's very skilled as I mentioned in the military in the sense that um, his determination to win each battle is at a very high stakes for him. You pick that up when Comrade Dita, when they come back to the scene after Queen Hagar basically told him to leave, that she, you know, would think about their offer, right? And so he basically challenges Comrade Dita and proves that his military knowledge and skill is more better than Comrade Dita because Comrade Dita at the time has this huge reputation and even the two and the Orions know about and so when I think about his age in a sense Natu is definitely older than Comrade Dita and um, Natu is pretty much I would say the same age as Comrade I'm sorry the same age as King Milan you know in his young I would say mid-30s if I had to say it a bit mid 30s to late 30s right and so anyway he's he seemed not to be trusted amongst the high council members of the Orions you could tell that when he came and had to tell them in the cave and Lanco just was went ballistic when they were they were learning that what Natu said earlier 
that King Malat is alive, that um, he's just somewhere, and that he did not go move forward into their plan, whatever that is. Because right now we don't really know the specifics of that in these short stories, in this in these moments of time here um, before the time of Princess Amenia, but we know it's something major because they have to re strategize and to find out how they can stay in the game of influence to be able to overrank Mitch Ram, which Mitch Ram is being controlled by King Milan, right? Now, of course, King Milan at this time is not really in the throne sense giving directives, it is Queen Hagar as King Milan nurturing his runes, which we're learning learning piece by piece it was a war a major battle and um and so he's recuperating from that but it's on the low key of his status so Whitna too he's pretty much middle height very physical fit when I see him I mean he is very physical fit he has this long chin that keeps that keeps I wouldn't say um the first thing that you see but it's very particular when I look at his face now his scars are not shown compared to Echo when Echo turns his face bam I saw it but when the two I don't see any scars on his face I think if you look at his eyes you could tell that he's been through a lot of battles and he's very particular about winning by any cost as you see later on in the episode uh, in the episodes that were released that I do show that he went to a special assignment to another tribe to a tribal leader that is on their side and he see that he might be still in the game when something happens in his favor they found someone and with that it can connect him to what they seek which is pretty much Mitch Ram and so anyway his scars are not easily shown when I'm writing him um, I think because well I know it's because scars are hidden by the garment that he's that he wears so when I'm writing him in my mind he wear a lot of fabric that covers his body in a sense his arms his chest his legs and so forth you don't really see too much of his skin only some small maybe parts of his neck and of course his face and then his hands dark colors wouldn't say gray but of course like black maybe off gray just dark colors maybe a hint of dark brown mix in there so he wear those fabric and the fabric when I see him and he's talking he's walking it's kind of rugged cut almost like it's fabric that was like basically sewed on him instead of him actually putting it on that's what comes through when I when I'm writing about Natu so Natu is someone to look for because I haven't decided or picked up that he will come be on the stage of the prestige return of Mole stage play I'm not sure that he will return back in season two of this podcast but he definitely seems to be a key player because Queen Hagar knows him so does Milan so I'm really interested to find out how did this all came about when did all did this happen now he was not approved to come back to when Mitch Ray on final say he wasn't present he was busy on the other side of the Sudan which we're calling Africa the Sudan dealing with or talking with that with that tribal leader okay so pretty much that's it that I want to kind of give you some background on the two he was never in my books or any productions and is to to decide if he will be on the stage when we return I still can't connect him to, to, to Kishi which Kishi was from the book he was in the web shows. it was Kishi he was the man on the scene that was on King Damar <laughs> going with that drama right when Princess Ami was on the scene as well but when I talk about Natu I feel no connection with him and Kishi which like I said will be in the perceived return of Mole because Kishi was in the book and he's an Orion so when I think of that whole family and that whole organization or whatever I guess I wouldn't say all family or people that's considered that I'm calling the Orions it just feels that Echo has some ties to Kishi as I'm saying this right now to you not Natu so we're gonna find out because in the book as I picked up it was Kishi father that had a high ranking position of the military and the governing forces that govern that region so but echo comes in much more stronger as being connected to Kishi right but not Natu at any rate that concludes this 
character profile of Natu for this season one of my podcast, Nichelle Anderson, Short Stories and Beyond. Now I'm about to go ahead and give some more information that will be for patrons only. If you want to be able to get this information, go ahead and become a patron. You could do that with a description um, link to my patron page, which is patron.com forward slash Nichelle Anderson. And you can also go to my other podcast, Surviving Your Journey to a Success, where I have the stories available there as premium content. So it's a monthly subscription. You can pick which one that you want to, to do. And now there is a trial period. So you could first try that for seven days. It's free to get access for it. It's for seven days, I believe, a couple of days before you actually start the subscription. You can cancel it at any time and you have access to all of this premium content as well as other things that I will be rolling out that's for patron only. All right, thank you. Patrons only, let's talk about Natu. All right, so pretty much what I wanted to share with you.